We're in Windows Server 2019. Let's go ahead and install the DHCP role. Click on Server Manager, and from here we'll go to Add Roles and Features. And then we'll scroll through until we get to DHCP. And there it is. And we'll add the features that go with it. Click Next, Next, and Install. While we're waiting, one thing you do want to check is that if you have any unplugged network cards, we go into the network and internet settings, we want to make sure we disable those. Otherwise, it'll show up as a 169 instead of an actual IP address when we go to set up our DHCP. So let's go ahead and click on Network and Sharing Center. And from here, we'll click on Change Adapter Settings. And you see I just have the one network card. So if you have additional network cards that have red X's through them, go ahead and right click and disable them. And then uh, you won't have any issues when you go to set up the DHCP portion. Let's go ahead and close that. And our installation is complete. Let's go to close and choose tools and click on DHCP. Sometimes it hides behind server manager, so you have to bring it to the front. And there we see our server. Now, by default, it's going to be turned off, so we're going to go ahead and need to uh, enable it. And the first thing we have to do is right-click on the server and choose Authorize. Once it's authorized, we can go ahead and create our new pool. So you can see it went from red to green as soon as we did that. So let's right-click and choose New Scope. Next. And call this whatever you want. Next. And there's our IP information. So let's go ahead and put in the same subnet as we're currently in. So if you're not sure what that is, you can just go ahead and go to a command prompt and type ipconfig. And we see we're on 192.168.15. So let's go ahead and give it a small scope here. We'll give it 15. And we'll end with 50. And we'll go to 55. Now we want to make sure the subnet mask is the same here as it is on our server. So we see it's 255 three times dot zero. So the subnet mask is going to be the same. Click next. If we have any IP addresses in that range that are set statically, we want to exclude them, but we don't. So we'll go ahead and click next. And by default, the lease duration is going to be eight days. Let's go ahead and change that to one day just to be on the safe side. So if you have any issues, we don't want IP getting stuck in there for a long time. Now, we also want to configure the additional options. So go ahead and choose Yes and click Next. And we want to uh, set up the gateway. So that's the way we need to get out to the Internet. So as we can see here, our default gateway is 192.168.15.1. So we want to duplicate that here. So 192.168.15.1. And don't forget to click Add. If you just click Next and you go back, it's not actually there. So go ahead and click Add. We want it in that box. Click Next. And now we see that by default, it goes ahead and found out that our DNS server is also 15.252. If not, make sure you add that in and any additional IP addresses of other DNS servers as well. Next, if you have Win servers, put them in, but I don't recommend you even use Win servers anymore. There's really no reason for it. Now we want to activate the scope. So go ahead and click Next and Finish. So there we go. We can click on our pool. And we can see our starting address is 50, and our ending address is 55. If we click on any leases, we don't have any yet, so nobody's attached to it yet. But once they do, they'll show up here. If we click on Scope Options, we can see the three different settings that we set up during the Scope Options portion of the setup. We see the router, the DNS server, and also the domain name was put in automatically. So that's how we set up a DHCP server in Windows Server 2019.